everybody, welcome to Strumming with Christopher. I'm Christopher Gallegos with Monterey County Free Libraries, Gonzales Branch. So, in the last video, we talked about left hand warm ups. Today, we're going to talk about right hand warm ups with a guitar pick. So, a lot of us use a pick for everything. You can also use your hands, which we've talked about with the strumming videos, early strumming. But it's important that we get some uh, fine motor skills in our right hand as well. So the left hand warm up was kind of a case of fine motor skills. And same with this. Now, if we've been mostly doing rhythm guitar and strumming, sometimes you can forget that the smaller movements are just as important and they carry over to the strumming as well. So if you're learning these kind of string by string, note by note warm ups, that's gonna carry over to everything you do. Not just solos and you know crazy things. Okay, so if we're using a pick, and we are for this example, Go ahead and get your right hand, let it hang loosely. Put the pick in between your thumb and your index finger. Leave a little bit of point sticking out there. Make sure that it's solid enough to where it doesn't fly out, but not hard enough where you're cramping your muscles. If you can keep this shape, it's ideal to kind of have the remaining three fingers kind of together like that, and that creates a little bit of a counterbalance as you're playing. Kind of just keeps everything locked in. You know, it's good form, okay? And so the warm-up we're gonna do for our right hand using a pick is very, very simple. It's going to be playing the strings from the low E down to the high E and then back up. And we're going to be thinking in terms of four four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, because most of the music we play is a four four kind of thing. Okay, so once you have your pick in a kind of a good solid position and you have your hand like this, when you approach the strings, kind of look down at what you're doing and make sure that the point of the pick is kind of directly touching the string you want to play. Don't really have it angled. Try to think of it in terms of um, playing directly down, picking the string, just directly down or directly up. A lot of times you can tend to have your pick kind of angled like that or like that. No, you want to have it straight up and down, straight up and down, okay? So we'll start slow and I'll see the rhythm. And after a while, you don't have to do that. But for the example, this warm-up is going to be having us go starting with a uh, down, up, down, up. As we're going down, we start with a down stroke. When we're coming back up, we do an up stroke and a down. So we're going to say down, up, down, up, 4-4. Four, four. start with an upstroke and then you're gonna go down. Just because it kind of makes more sense to your, your brain, right? So you're gonna go one, two, three, four again, but starting with an upstroke and then going down. So up, down, up, down is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. notice as I'm doing this, I'm kind of looking down sometimes and looking away sometimes. That'll happen, but that's another thing you can think about. When you're starting this out, you can look down and make sure that visually everything is very clean and your hand is getting that kind of nice little, it's almost like an elliptical thing, like an oval, I guess, in a way. You can look down and make sure everything is clean, and then after a while, start challenging yourself and look away while you're playing it and see if you can keep that balance in your hand and keep it sounding clean. So it's not just the muscle strength, but it's also that, you know, mind-muscle connection. So, yeah, it's like training wheels to look down and look away. And, again, if your fingers start to curl up, don't get too worried. But this is an ideal position for a pick to have your hand like this, like a little shadow puppet duck bill or something. It really keeps everything balanced, especially when you're playing really fast, you know. So, yeah, give that a try. And like with the left-hand exercise... They're great to group up. You can start with the right hand and go to the left or vice versa, but they're a good pair. They also work on their own, but they're both working on this kind of fine motor skill thing while at the same time getting the muscles to work out. You can even see as I'm moving my pick hand, you can see in my wrist and in my forearm, the muscles moving. So yeah, it's not something we think a lot about when we're playing guitar. We just say, oh, show me the money, you know, show me the skills. And the reality is, no, you have to have a little bit of a practice. Um, 
to warm up. And you can also do it after you play for a long time and your hands are getting tired. You can always cool down with these things too. The variables are, like any other exercise, speed, form. You know, you, you don't want to try and rush through this. You're not trying to win a prize here. You're trying to actually give your muscles a benefit. So you're trying to get your hands in good shape, trying to get your fingers in good shape, trying to keep your thumbs healthy, trying to keep your forearms and your wrists healthy as well. Okay? So this will help you in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, so give this a try. And again, um, don't feel like you have to do this, uh, you know, before you play. But it's a good idea. And I recommend you do it sometimes when you don't feel like playing. You just want to work out your hands a little bit. It's a good thing to try maybe two, three times a week in general if you're really taking this seriously, okay? So anyway... Glad to see you all again as always, and uh, we'll be strumming again soon. Bye.